Hey everybody, Pastor Kelly coming at you. Uh, I uh, stumbled on this uh, article, and I posted it on the Hardway Mountain Ministry, and I've got a link to where you can find it. Yesterday, Donald Trump was uh, doing an interview with Michael Savage, where, uh, and some of the things he was saying is not exactly wrong, that we do have a massive, massive problem. But here's the thing. He's calling for surveillance of mosques. Well, on the surface, everyone's going to say, Yahoo, let's do that, absolutely. We ought to keep track of every single one of them. Every one of the Muslims we should keep track of. Well, you know what, on the surface, yeah, I guess you're right. But here's the thing, what happens if he decides the Baptists are the bad guy? And... You know, everybody's going to say, well, there's no Baptists out bombing and blowing up and killing me. Well, you're right. But what happens if they don't like what they're saying? What happens if they don't like what you're preaching in your pulpit? What happens if they don't like what you're hearing at your local church? They're going to start surveilling you? There's a time, some of you may be too young to remember this, some not. I don't know who my audience is. But right after 9-11, George Bush came out with the Patriot Act and said, you know, well, just do this for just a little bit, and it'll be gone. We'll do a sundown clause on it, and when it expires, it's over. Well, guess what, folks? That was 9 that was, well, that was 2002, and it's still there. It's still there. You give up a little bit of liberty, you lost all your liberty. You You know... I'm not saying they shouldn't be watching radical Muslims. They should. But to surveil their churches, you know, their their churches are just as called a church just like ours is. They just call it a mosque. We'll be next, folks. Times are coming. Times are changing. The New World Order is running hard. And if you don't think Donald Trump's part of that New World Order, you are sadly fooled. And I feel for you, and I pray for you. I also pray that you're saved, because if you're not saved, there may come a time you're going to be hollering, Lord, Lord, and he's going to say, yay, I never know you. And that time may be sooner than you think. I just thought I'd put this out there for y'all to have a look at, and I'll leave links for it, and uh, you can comment back and call me a heretic, whatever you want. <laughs> As always, we'll be praying for you. You pray for us. We love you. Jesus loves you more. Pastor Kelly's out of here.